Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have really interesting interview question. We have 3 to the x plus 3 to the y plus 3 to the z equal to 837 and we need to find our x, y and z. If you have your own solution you can also write your assumption down into the comment section and we will check our answers. It will be it will be really interesting and this is also like a great challenge for everyone to check our answers in the end in the end of the video. So here is our question. For right now first of all let's factor 3 to the power z from this expression on the left side. Let's do this right now. When we factor 3 to the power z, let's write it from the new line right here, so we have 3 to the power z. When we factor 3 to the power z from, from this expression, what do we have right here? 3 to the power x minus z, yeah, because we factor in 3 to the power z, 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z, okay, 3 to the power y minus z, and we have plus, because we factor in 3 to the power z, we have plus 1. Really great, equal to 830, 837. Right now, what are we going to do in this case? This is not like exactly this case. Generally, when we have questions like that, when we need to find a lot of variables, we need to express this constant on the right side. But how can we how can we express this constant? This 837, let's try to find how can can we how can we express this 837? This 837 can be divided by, by 3. When we divide it, we have 279, yeah? This 279 can be also divided by 3. And these two, uh, as a result, what do we have right here? 93. This 93 can be also divided by 3. As a result, we have 31. So we can express this 837 as 3 to the power 3 times 31. Let's do this right now. So we have right here 3 to the power z times this parenthesis 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z plus 1 and equal to right here what do we have right here 3 to the power 1 2 3 so 3 cube yeah you have right here 3 cube times 31 because we can't express this 31 as a product so we have times 31 we need to leave it like that and right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. On the left side, we have a product of two like values, two expressions, 3 to the power z and this parenthesis. On the right side, we have 3 to the power 3 times some expression, okay, 31 we have in, exactly in this case. So obviously, from this step right here, we can easily find our z, because we have 3 to the power z right here and 3 to the power 3 to the power 3 right here. Okay, so from here, 3 to the power z equal to 3 to the power 3. Okay, and from here, our z is equal to is equal to three. So as you can see, we find we find our z really great. But we still have this expression. We need to find our x and y. But as a result, we still have this expression in our minds. Okay, in our minds, we cancel this expression only in our minds. Three to the power three and three to the power z. But we still have this expression. In this expression, need to be equal to thirty one. So let's split this split this part. As a result, we have this expression three to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z plus 1 equal to 31. Really great. Right now, this one we can easily bring from our, from our right side, from our left side to right side. As a result, we have 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z equal to, equal to 30. Okay, this is our expression right now. What are we going to do next? Let's factor from here, let's factor 3 to the power y minus z. So let's factor this in this expression. As a result, what do we have right here? We have 3 to the power y minus z. We're going to factor it. As a result, what do we have right here? 3 to the power x minus z, this, this power. We're going to subtract from here this one, y minus z, y minus minus d. Really great. And we have plus 1 because we because we factor this 3 to the power y minus z. So we have right here plus 1 and equal to equal to 30. Equal to equal to 30. Really great. Right now let's simplify this expression inside inside this parenthesis right here. Let's evaluate this expression. As a result, we have right here 3 to the power y minus z and times inside parenthesis, what do we have right here? 3 to the power x minus z minus y plus z and we can easily cancel this minus z and plus and plus z and we have plus plus one right here plus one equal to equal to 30. really great right now let's rewrite it in a new line without this this z as a result right here what do we have three to the power y minus z times three to the power x minus y and plus one 
equal to, but this 30, let's express as 3 times 10, okay, 3 times, 3 times 10. Really great. And right now, let's talk closely what do we have right here. Absolutely the same logic as before right here. We have 3 to the power z and 3 to the power 3. We write that z equal to 3, which is really obvious because we have absolutely the same expressions on both sides. In our case, we have 3 to the power y minus z and we have we have 3. So as a result, when, three, when we can write 3 as 3 to the power 1, this 3 to the power y minus z need to be equal to 3 to the power 1. Let's do this right now. Let's solve this, this part. Let's split this solution. And also let's write 3 to the power y minus z. So right here we have 3 to the power y minus z equal to 3 to the power 1 or equal to, equal to 3. Right now y minus z equal to, equal to 1 but z equal to equal to 3. So as a result, we have that our y minus 3 equal to equal to 1. And from here, our y equal to our y equal to 4. Yeah, we have our second second solution to this step. We have z equal to 3, y equal to 4, but we still have this expression, 3 to the power x minus y plus 1 equal to equal to 10. So let's write it. So we have 3 to the power x minus y plus 1 equal to equal to 10 and obviously we bring this one from our left side to right side as a result we have 3 to the power x minus y equal to equal to 9 really great very basic thing right now because we're gonna to write this we're gonna write this 9 as 3 square as a result we have 3 to the power x minus y equal to 3 square and from here our x minus y equal to 2 according to the basic uh, basic rule, basic like exponential equation, basic power rule, we have x minus y equal to equal to 2. But we know that y equal to 4. So as a result, we have that our x, x minus 4 equal to 2. And from here, our x equal to equal to 6. Okay, our x equal to equal to 6. But this is not a final, so, uh, this is not a final answer. I want you to look at this, at this explanation right now. So we have, uh, let's write, what do we have right here? We have x equal to 6 in the beginning, x equal to 6, y equal to 4, and we have that z equal to equal to 3. So this is all that we found before. This looks like our solution, but I want to show you one really interesting, really interesting moment. In the beginning, we had that 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power y and plus 3 to the power z. Uh, this is that we had in the beginning, equal to 800, 837. And I want to show you one, I want to say one really interesting moment because a lot of students forget about this. We are right here we have addition. So 3 to the power x, 3 to the power y, 3 to the power z. We add all of this, all of this expression. But 3 to the power y plus 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power z is also equal to 837, okay? Because we have all the time addition and doesn't matter this order. Addition is, is really great uh, sign because we can change position, okay? 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power y also equal to 3 to the power y plus 3 to the power x. And right here we will have a lot of, a lot of combinations of so doesn't matter this order, x, y, z. We, can, we need to combine all of these, all of these solutions, okay? Because we have all the time addition, okay? So let's write our final answer. Let's combine these six for three. Let's write our all, all combinations. Let's do this right now. So we have our answer, our answer. I, I hope you understand what I mean right here. We, we can easily change an order x, y, z, z, y, x, y, z, x. Yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these combinations. So our final answer, x, y, z, so a solution to this challenge is equal to 6, 4, 3, first obvious solution. So we have 6, 4, 3. The second solution, 6, 3, 4, 6, 3, 4. The next one, 4, 6, 3. We need to check this combination. 4, 6, 3. Really great. The next one, 4, 3, 6. And the last swap right here, we need to swap right here. 3, 6, Four, and the last one, three, four, six, and all of this, all of this solution is also a correct to this question. This is a very tricky challenge. A lot of students forget about it. A lot of students uh, solve this challenge absolutely incorrect because they say that x equal to six, four, y equal to four, and z equal to three is a correct answer. But as you can see, uh, we need to combine these solutions because we have addition. 
When we have addition multiplication, like combination of two mathematical operations, we need to look at this challenge once more. What do we have exactly in that case? But in our case, we have all the time addition and doesn't matter. Maybe someone don't understand why we combine all of this solution. For example, imagine we have three. Yeah, we have three plus we have five and plus two equal to right here. We have obviously 10, but two plus five plus three is also equal to 10. And uh, like something like that, 5 plus 3 plus 2 is also equal to 10. We change, it change nothing. We have absolutely the same expression on the, on the right side. But we can easily combine this because we consider about, we consider about addition. Okay, we consider this as addition. So we add all, all, a lot of these expressions. Okay. So this very tricky moment, I hope you understand it. I hope you understand this solution. You can also, you can also check this solution in, in like math libraries. If you, don't, if you don't trust me, you can easily check it. Check, you can easily rate this 3 to the power 6, 3 to the power 4, 3 to the power 3, and you can easily combine these values. It will be it will be really great when you write your response down into the comment section. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos. Also write your question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. And much love and respect for everyone. Take care of yourself and have a great day.